Next up, St. Augustine, Florida, on our line for Republicans. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask the gentleman about the NASCAR votes. You know, North Carolina is really the home of NASCAR. If you go to uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon, there's going to be a big NASCAR race in, in Talladega, Alabama. There'll be almost 300,000 people there. And there'll be maybe three pe black voters, I mean, black people there. And it's just no black drivers, there's no black fans. I saw a, a Brian Gumbel interview that was 20 years old one night on the HBO, and they were interviewing Richard Petty, and he said, why is there so many just white people go to NASCAR racers? And Richard Petty said, because white people know that's a good Sunday afternoon. They can go to the races and not have to put up with a bunch of, I won't use the word he used, but he said, you know what, people. But at the same time, uh, the NASCAR vote there is going to truly be, I think, for Hillary Clinton, although I don't think they like her that much either. And I think it's going to come down to about a five-point Obama win in North Carolina, and I think she's going to win by over ten points in uh, Indiana, and it's going to really stir this race up again. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chris? Well, I think a lot of those NASCAR fans, first of all, are Republicans, and so they won't be uh, factors in, in the Democratic primary, and it'll be, there'll be more factors in the general election when the, when the choice is between McCain and, and whoever the Democratic nominee is. So it is true that NASCAR is, is, uh, is very important in North Carolina, but the, the larger question is there's a lot of white working class uh, voters in North Carolina. Um, and that obviously uh, is a uh, demographic group that Senator Clinton has uh, tried very hard to uh, court, both in places like Pennsylvania and in Ohio, and, and she's obviously targeting that group uh, this time around. That's why she last week was going around with eight generals all across the state, uh, and uh, including Hugh Shelton, who is a former joint uh, uh, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and who's from North Carolina. So, uh, but, so yes, that Senator Clinton is courting the white, white working class NASCAR vote, if you will, but uh, a large portion of that vote are Republicans and will not be a factor in this Democratic primary. Briefly describe the book for us, The Paradox of uh, Tar Heel Politics, and what might we learn from this book that will help us understand what's going to happen next week on uh, May 6th? Well, North Carolina is uh, one of the most competitive states in the country, and, and uh, it, in fact, if you looked at, for example, in the 1990s, it was, if you looked at the margins of victory between the two major parties in presidential, senate, and gubernatorial races, it is, was the closest uh, margins in the country. In the 80s, it was, only Minnesota was closer. And it's a very competitive state. L it, like the rest of the South, has a very strong uh, conservative streak uh, because of its part of the Bible Belt and it's culturally conservative and it's very pro-military. But what sets North Carolina apart from the rest of the South is it has a, has a progressive tradition. And, uh, and it has and it is willing to vote. It is the strongest Democratic Party in the South. Uh, it is willing to uh, vote for Democrats for a statewide office. It is, it is competitive, and, uh, which is why, uh, and, it's, and it's not as racially polarized in some ways as other southern states uh, uh, there. So, uh, and, that's, and that, there's still a lot of white Democrats in North Carolina, which you don't always find in the Deep South, and you don't find in South Carolina, which is to our south. Uh, so it is a different state. It is, it is a more progressive state than, than, than much of the South, which means that it is competitive. It's always in play. The Democrats always have a chance here where they don't always have a chance in South Carolina. And that's what makes the state uh, so politically interesting. It's also true the state has, a, a, because it is so close and so competitive, it is very rough politics. Uh, I mean, Jesse Helms is, is uh, uh, the brand of politics has gone on for a hundred years in North Carolina. It's very tough, uh, very tough fought campaigns, often very um, uh, uh, tough tactics, often use of race and so forth. Not because we're a more racist state, but because we're a more competitive state where either party can win. Let's